share my 9-11 story. Um, I'm going to share it connected to this piece that um, we just showed today, this documentary theater piece called 20 Years Later. Um, so I was 16 when 9-11 happened. I was a, a junior in high school on the New Jersey Shore, which actually was deeply, my town that I was at, like deeply, deeply affected because it's all people who commute. It's a very commuter town. So specifically remember they went around the train stations and tagged the cars because they wanted to see who was not able to come home. Um, to see whose car they needed to move and whose car stayed there. I just remember like the chalk on that and the sidewalk from tagging the cars. Um, so anyway, I mean, as a kid, like this, this event, this moment, obviously deeply affected me. There's a clear before and there's a clear after. Um, and as somebody who's grown up in the shadow, in the wake of 9-11, um, those events on that day, um, I've been really interested in how um, like the next generation is taught about it and how we, just in general, how we pass down memory and history and how you know we teach and whether or not this is important. Because I know for like older millennials, this is a, this is a huge event. This is a moment. And so I started working on, I guess well, 10 years ago, I did a piece with my theater company called 10 Years Later, which was about, you know, the, in the wake of 9-11, 10 years after. And then about three years ago, we started working on 20 Years Later, which is the piece that we saw today. Um, you know, what was interesting to me is that the general, the overall piece, and like we edited the, you know, we edited it for this, for the purpose of this memorial today. But a lot of the interviews, a lot of the work that, what ended up coming up was, you know, they're traumatized by school shootings, by coronavirus, by, you know, they live with this really escalated sense of anxiety. Not even sense, like escalated anxiety. And so it was like, the general feeling was like, well, why is 9-11 important? Because we deal with this every day. Like we're getting shut up in school. Like there was, you know, I think 3,000 people died yesterday of coronavirus and nobody's doing anything about it. So why is it like this, this moment, um, you know, which is really valid. Um, we talked about like the implications of the war on terror. I mean, those kids, they've never known life before the Afghanistan. They grew up with the entire, like this has been normalized, like going to the airport, taking off your shoe, like all these things, are, like they've grown up with that, grown up with militarization, with surveillance. Um, so, you know, it's asking them to imagine what does that, like, what is this, um, what would a world look like without that? And I think that's what theater does. Like, that's why theater is really interesting because you, you go into these processes of imagination and with the hope of like, oh, well, if we can imagine this, we can build a better world. That's why we ended on Jason's piece about, you know, building a new game, building a better world.